Yeah! Keep it going! Alright! I have been forced here against my will. <laughs> Please help. <laughs> Why do people like having fun? <laughs> what is wrong with these people? Because... Just do your analysis <laughs> and send it over. My god. I'm not gonna do your dumb chance. That's what Beastmaster is for. I hope we get to see some drums of slalom this game. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Just for the lulls. <laughs> you know, I was, I was theory crafting this item. Uh-huh. They were telling me it's like mini epicenter. Yeah. So if you cast it and then you blink in on somebody and roar them, uh -huh. they're just getting beat on the whole time. That sounds pretty ham. The battle begins. Yeah, I guess. I don't know. Every single time I've seen Trumps of Sloan, it has looked totally ineffective. Be aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> also, dressing it up as mini epicenter. It sounds, yeah. it sounds so garbage. Epicenter is already a mini epicenter. All right. You take epicenter. Uh-huh. You make it purchasable. Uh-huh. You give it 40-second cooldown. Uh -huh. And it heals you. Are you sold yet? No. No, right, I'm well, not. That's why nobody buys Describing it. Describing it as Epicenter will <laughs> never sell anybody ever. You know what? Epicenter is like drums of slum. That's how we, I should have phrased <laughs> that, it. That true. I messed yes. up. Well, that, now that sounds interesting. A drums of slum you don't have to spend 4,200 gold for? You had my curiosity. Oh. But now you have my attention. <laughs> All right, uh, OG, once again, are going to go to the Ven Venomancer, and uh, they got counterpicked with a Naga Siren that uh, True. they already had to do this once before, and they won in the EG matchup that I believe we casted. Uh, it was the same thing. They very last pick, Naga Siren, and they still managed, if I remember correctly, they still managed to win the lane. Yes, DM destroyed the Naga with his Venom on that lane. So I'm looking for something different here if you're TSM. Or at least TSM, or I don't know what I'm saying. I'm not biased at all. If TSM want to have a good chance this game, they have to perform well on lanes. They cannot have the same thing happen where DM destroys your Naga and kicks him out to the jungle. You cannot have this Pango do Pango things. And you can't have Morph just sit down bottom forever. You're going to need some early lane action at some point. In order to propel you into that mid game where you can start to play the map. Towers are pretty important for TSM2. You have to open up these tier ones so that your split push, your summons, your vision, all of this can go to work. And then the pickoff with the arrow and Rubik fall off on a chains can actually create something for you. If that doesn't happen, this map is going to close very fast. And we're going to have another DM Veno show where OG just ball up behind his net worth auras, get early Roshans for the, the Morphling, and that five on five just becomes too hard because you can't punch through the heels in the, the EHP here. How do you feel about the uh, late game matchup? Oh, I feel great. Wait, for who? I don't know. Oh. How do you feel about it? It's great for somebody. Oh. Who's it great for? I like Morphling here. Okay. Think about the Morphags versus Nagas, you can just throw it on an illusion. Oh, it's yeah. It's like so dumb. I don't know why this works like this, but. There is that mechanic we were talking about that, or I remember that. You can get Lincolns on Naga yes. Siren, and, and it will always on the illusion. It will proc, which is even weirder. Yeah, that, that is. A <laughs> uh, don't know why it works that way, but it just does. And you know what? Chances they're they're pretty decent chance that Aghanims gets changed on Morphling or Naga Siren. Oh, illusion. oh okay. <laughs> From downtown, <laughs> the three-point line. <laughs> I love this. number fifty-eight. Kasane dunks on Tama. Or uh, not Tama. I don't know what I'm saying. Dunks on Yuragi. I, I love the Beastmaster uh, sound when he gets first blood. That was I what mean, I was impersonating. When he growls at you. No, that was me. First blood. <laughs> Long-range axe kill. That's what you're looking to see here on this beast morphing lane. We're yeah, talking about winning lanes, making some action happen. That's why I want to do it. All of a sudden, Kasane's top CS, top net worth off the first blood. That sounds pretty juicy to me. If you want to be in a position where you can kick this morphing out, that's step number one. Because now he's got free arcane boots off that, and he is just spamming axes off cooldown. Yoraki does not like this. He does not like it one bit. 
Four minute rune contests. Chul Ciari run away with it as both water runes go TSM's way. Another small mid lane win for them. Yeah. So they're adding it up here, making some, some magic happen. I mean, off of the kill, or he's like, okay, I can rotate out. He rotated over, uh, guarded the bounty rune, and zapped to BZM. So BZM couldn't get the bounty rune. He couldn't get the water rune. So they won bottom, and I think that move kind of wins mid. Ooh, nice mana burn to get the pullback. All right, lose range. Yeah, they're, they're winning all three lanes right now on TSM. That's a good sign. Not getting this kick out top either. Just not burning the HP on Tomato. Did go earn for DM, so he's going to look for the kills, but Mirana's going to be a hard support to all in here. And then Naga is just going to stay until Tomato feels too threatened and then go jungle. So if you cannot give DM earn charge, he's going to be happy. He's trying to run Tomato down, actually. Hits it with the Gale. This should be a kill. Arrow, Arrow. cuts across, doesn't actually land. Maybe deny him. They have to. If Taiga sees them, it gets oh, a little swipe on him. Oh. Slips away, but still, the damage is heavily done. Bryle, he's got a slide up, and he gets him. Finally gets that kill on mid. It's level six off that. The RE rotation, it eventually led to what just happened, so. Well done by Bryle, capitalizing on the situation. As Taiga clears out the illusions and almost kills Tomato, too. Won't be able to get him, but again, kicking him back to underneath his tower. Oh, the net. He's got a fairy fire and wand charges, so he's not that easy of a kill. And White Mon. Who's baiting who up here? Wait. I can't tell. He needs five mana. Deny him. Deny? Oh, okay. He it. doesn't get the kill, and now he's in range of getting poison stung and earned. Dead. He got the earned charges, so Tomato's dead as well. Taiga will suicide to the tier one tower to get a reset. Oh boy, everything was looking so good for TSM until that top lane fell apart. And now you got two more earn charges on level five Venno. This is a hard lane to come oh, back to. Oh, BZM's dead. He got the haste rune. Run him down. Arrow kick. That wasn't. Got a creep. He did get a creep. They're going to get a lot more creeps as they starfall and slate through the wave. Kill Taiga as well. All right. Continuing to go very well for TSM in mid and bottom. It's looking like game one for the mid lane was just an absolute disaster for BZM. Mm -hmm. Getting that tri lane treatment. And Kess's catapult wave with double range. They're just going to get a tier one off this if you don't respond here. Chu, you got to help him out. Send that Hellbear in. He sends it in, damage but. Done. Yeah, the damage. In the other wave is going to be able to tank up for the siege wagon. So this, maybe the tower survives, but it's going to be practically into night range. And BZM missed so much. Missed like two waves, two full range creeps off that. Significant damage done in this mid lane for TSM. While Kasane continues to rack up the pressure versus Hiragi. He's already level six. Fast Arcane Boot Helm. He's really farming on this Beastmaster. He's not going to need some catch-up Ancient Stacks. They are going to be Acceleration Ancient Stacks at this rate. That's going to be a fast Drum of Slum. Can't wait to see it. It's, it's, it's coming. One of these days. Vin Snare. And Tomato finally gets to enjoy a little bit of punishment for the heroes that have been pressuring him in lane so damn hard. All right. Maybe not an acceleration Ooh. stack. Stealing. A stolen stack. A little thievery. Well. Theft turns to a mugging as Ari is going to get beat up. Oh, that arrow just a little bit too late. They do have the roar. Rubik still dies. And Chu is not that easy to bring down. They'll probably get him with the slight, and they do. Even Yoragi came by to see what was going on. Just checking it out. So we'll relieve some of that pressure from DM Top as he will finally push Tomato out of this lane. With the Vanguard on the Venno. The Venno Guard. Probably aiming for Crimson this game. Pretty damn good Crimson lineup. Yeah. You can get there. That's going to probably be your strongest aura timing to make something happen in the 505. You're not going to have the lockdown like last time with the Atos, though. And maybe that's something OG will regret not having. Like, you have a boundless strike, and that's it. And you got to connect that roll. So, Bryle's going to continue to wreak havoc here. Level 8, 4, 0, and 1. Pretty much no threat on Ember. Unless he just runs out of mana. And he took that tier 1. 
So he's a lot of space to operate. If I'm TSM, I'm going to Brow right now. now. I'm just throwing arrows into the chains. Combining my Rubik with him if I can get a fast level 6 on Ari. Either that or bring the Ember to the beast lane and kick Morphling out. One of the two sounds good. Well, TSM getting bounty runes this time around. Fate Bolt. OG, turn on a dime to go for Ari instead. Telekinesis throws him back and a slight change that lands on two. Shield Crash is going to cause some problems here. Yuragi turning into the Rubik and getting some damage done. Slight. Trying to dodge, but it's not like he's really in danger. In fact, it's BZM who's going to be in some trouble here. The Slight Chains hit him and the arrow. It's not going to land, but the Remnant might be able to just get the kill as Brile's going to chase into the Tier 2 and finish him off once again. Brile continues his domination over BZM. Well, let's just see this time around in Game 2 if they can actually transition a lane win into a game win. It's actually crazy how DM is always so far on this Venom. Uh, it is a hero that can farm incredibly fast through the camps, through the jungle, but just off the lane. Yeah. It always has very high CS, rarely dies on the hero. A lot of times you die level one or two in some weird trade. Just always having a good game. Can see why they pick it up. You can get fast auras in this meta. They are nice. But like you said, the Brile show continues double damage. Claiming Chew's life. This man's on a rampage. You know, on the topic of the Venomancer, I always, uh, I always think it's really cool. You could tell when somebody is very intimate uh, knowledge of a, a hero I and bet how it you works. Can. When Kasane uh, <laughs> is getting intimate with this ancient stack right now, with oh. their item builds, oh, <laughs> they're able to change their item builds based off of the circumstances of the game, and I think these are pretty two unique builds: Vanguard Venomancer and Rod of Atos. I wasn't paying attention at all to what you're saying. Yuraki goes down to a, I don't even know. He just got fabled, slighted from the fog of war. And Taiga is going to die as well, perhaps. BZM tries to cover him. Does manage to get a disarm, but the slight Ooh, change. Means, Ooh, and the man. porcupine's here. That just Hello, means... son. Feel the wrath of my seed shot. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> He's back. Oh, nice body blocking there from White Mon. All right. Now, OG is just... That is a godlike streak already for Briar. I mean, I knew he was killing it. I didn't know he killed it nine times. This is one of the earliest ascensions to Deity status we've seen all tournament. Yeah, serious? Ten, nine and oh at 12 minutes. I do agree with you. Your point was good. I will validate it. Like, when you see players that are very used to going the wide variety of items, they can pick and choose the right one for each scenario. That is a sign of expertise. Mm. All about the tools and what time to use them. Taiga. He dies and Bryl should burst. be okay. He's got a remnant out. If you can get the Ember kill, it's a lot of gold for somebody. Oh, yeah. BCM would love that sort of comeback. Because it feels like he's not going to get the same kind of space that he got in game game one. He shouldn't. If TSM take over this map and build the lead, they should be able to cut it off. They have Beastmaster, Marana, and Naga for map control. And once you're closed off, they're going to see where you are and just lock it down. Yeah. And you're certainly not getting all the bounty rune advantage that you got in game one. So. No. Gonna try and catch Kasane. Kasane oh, trying to cut down the trees. Not gonna get in time. Primal Roar trying to speed himself up, but gets slowed down by the Gale. Taiga is gonna die in return, but Kasane is still in some trouble as BZM's gonna commit for the kill. Bumps into him one more time. Swashbuckle delivers the final blow, but now he's been caught by the slight chains and the arrow, and Ari once again shows up for the another last hit on yet another kill. Actually, he didn't get it. White Monk got it. Supports from TSN, joining these fights, combining, I don't know why I said it like that, combining with Brile off this 9-0 and streak to get the job done. Early Maelstrom is going to give him the damage. Yeah, he can kill the beast, but that's a very deep smoke route for OG to take to try and clear out their jungle, and they don't even clear it out. So now you're kind of just relying on the Naga farm versus the Morphling farm, which you rather have right now, as both heroes are pretty much free farming. 
fact, Jiraki is out farming Tomato at their current pace. Some of that early Veno pressure maybe being reflected in the net worse. If Yoraki can join these fights, remember, he can steal Ember spells here. The Ember being so high level, he can just go and take those chains, reflect them right back. Yeah, he does get off the strength board, but he's still in trouble here. The damage oh, coming thick and fast. That DD. Could not out heal it. Rune control paying dividends for TSM after they lost all those runes in game one. Yep. He need to take his dragon. Have mercy, son. It's going to be another catch-up game for BZM. No way around it. Last time around, there was this... He's 0-5, uh, actually. I didn't even notice. My God. Yeah. He's having a rough one. Last game, there was this Wraith King who had, like, an early Radiance. And, you know, we said, okay, they're... He's going to get a lot of farm, and he might be able to contest this Brown Storm Sphere that's popping off. I don't see that hero for OG in game two. Yuragi's doing fine, but he's not ahead. And I don't think he's going to be particularly impactful for a while. So you're saying they need a hero right now? Yeah. I need a hero. Well, when you need a hero... We go back to the hero we can all rely on, Cat. Some good old Crimson Guard. I guess he's got the helm. He's closing in. I'll actually finish it up now. I mean, this has to be go time. I think you have to get a fight with this. Defusal on Pango. About 200 off as well. All right, you probably wait for that, but then it's go time. Got to find something off the Taiga Scout. And ideally, you want to find Brile in this game. You can kill this Ember once. It's going to relieve a lot of map pressure, give you the big streak, and give you the gold that you need going towards your Pango. Because he does not have the room to operate. This mid lane is just getting pushed super deep. It's limiting the camps that OG can farm. Deep vision up for TSM as well. They're just scouting and seeing everything. Full rune control on top of it. Regen sitting in the tank here for Ember. He wants to go, go, go. Radiance top tower is under Now's the time to smoke and try and reclaim some of that area control. You're not going to get a much better window in the next four or five minutes here. Defusal and Crimson up. Oh, the tree gets cut, cut. The tree. The two supports going to be tainted. caught here. Both of them stunned next to each other. Telkinese is thrown together. The heal is keeping them alive. But eventually one falls and the other trying to limp away. Caught by the ensnare. Tomato actually joining in on this engagement. It's nice oh, of him. Why not? Oh, well, there's your Crimson Guard fight. Great fight. Oh, I mean, they did stay alive for longer than I thought. It's kind of impressive. But you are losing your triangle. This is kind of the opposite of the first Venno game, where Venno is controlling areas, controlling the runes, pushing TSM out of areas. Now the Venno is getting pushed out of areas. That just feels terrible, because you can't set up with these wards, can't control the vision or the momentum of the game. Taiga... That was a bold jump, sir. Yeah, last time Taiga was getting aggressive vision down. Now he can't even get into his own jungle. Beastmaster has shut down not only the Monkey King jumps in vision. He's just shut down their teamfight presence. Early helm of the Overlord. Nothing really to deal with it. And you know Roche is on the menu for TSM. They're just waiting for a good opportunity. As they continue to close out the map, 7k gold lead. If Bryle finishes BKB here before he dies, do you think he's going to die again? I think at that point he's just invincible. Yeah, I'm fairly certain he just... Yeah, add another rune game. to his repertoire as well. Locked and loaded. Bryle has a nice aggressive ward to be able to spot out some of these heroes. He's going to run into BZM here. Got to be careful of that Diffusal Blade, though. Does have a remnant out to jump to. That was another smoke by OG. Lands on nothing. Every time one of these misses, you know Naga's pushing in the lanes. You know Beastmaster summons are going to work on your triangle. Yeah, you're going to be first to show eventually. Now the smoke comes from TSM. Off of getting top lane in and bottom lane off illusions. The map is collapsing for OG. There's not many other places they can be right now. 
Ryle's probably just gonna run in here. Start heading out. Cut them off. Tiger got the Beast Courier. Oh, R, he spots him! Really good use of that Primal Spring. Floating he has through been the air. Doing work with it. And he got Morph again. So he's sitting on 2200 HP. Can't even really go on Rubik here. Trying to go. Taiga cannot make it out. There's not going to be a fast basher this game. That's for certain. There's no space to rat. No. They have set the rat traps up. The jaws have snapped. Now you are corralled back to your triangle, which means. Time to go back in for TSM. I'll find another support kill. What did you Even early Orchid on Tomato. This is a good game to get the early Orchid on because now he's just going to have Kilter on his own. It's going to make Yoragi's life even harder if he does decide to join these fights. Maybe you randomly silence BZM before a roll. When you're ahead, this item is nice. And they are ahead right now. 10k gold lead. Ooh, that's like a four-second arrow. They're going to try and defend around it. Rolling Thunder actually gets stolen by Ari. He's going to roll through all these heroes. They used the song to try and protect, but now he releases it because Ari still had that Rolling Thunder out. Nice chains into the Beautiful arrow again. Stuff. Great combo once again from Whitemon and Bryle. And Bryle jumping forward to get the second kill here. Uh, Yoragi's gonna try and turn. Got the chains. They're gonna buy back around it too. It's Brian. a big kill to get. Oh, tried to get him. Tried to deny. Him. Tried to go for the deny, but he doesn't get it. And Yoragi claims the spree. Fourteen hundred gold almost for that one. It's that Morphling team fight impact for Zember. Can't forget about it when you don't have a defensive item yet on Brile, who is working towards that BKB. Big bounty to claim here, and on the right hero. You definitely want to go into Morphling this time around. Yoragi is going to have to put the game on his back and trudge over the hill that they have to climb right now. That was step one. You got the 16 and zero How Ember steps? streak. How many more steps in this? I thought you were going to say 16 more steps. I think it's a, probably around a six or seven step program we're looking at. Okay. Good job with TSM just waiting out these this initial go. Anytime you can survive Pangol, I feel like that's a pretty good fight. We haven't seen that too often, but true. <laughs> when you can, it's like, oh, now we can just re-engage and then it's free double change into the axe, into the bottom damage. DM got really good position here too. Should be noted. I don't know how he just walked in behind everybody. Landed a decent Nova, zones Kasane, and Yuragi shows up at the right time to get the right hero with the right spell for the right streak. And then left. Back where he came from. Never to be heard from again. Yeah. <laughs> I know that, that is, face. That is a face of a man who has not been having a fun series. <laughs> That's the face of a man who's been trialing. <laughs> Guys, I'm not the off laner. You're not supposed to try lane mid. Let me 1v1. Not allowed, it seems. TSM. We build and build and build. Did give Bryle a very hefty kill spree, but he did lose it to Yuragi. Now OG may have a chance. Still a significant lead for TSM. That pipe on DM. That fight gave them a second aura. And it gave Yuragi his second item. Manta and Lincoln's up for him. Well, they have some damage and Perhaps some tankability. Like chance at life, but they need this BCM to survive. And they cover him with the supports. He'll stay alive. Even a little bit of heal coming out from DM to make sure everything's A-OK. -okay. Anything to make sure that Roshan does not dragon. go into the hands of TSM. This model's doing a decent job shoving in the wave, so it's going to create some map pressure here for OG. Do they want to go back bottom? Do you want to try and get these lanes out, or do you want to stay around Roshan where the Hawks and the Summons are scouting you? Not an easy choice right now as they're feeling the pressure and trying to force the move. Bryle still has that he went for that blink. Strike, trying to catch him real quick. He got chained. Oh, he got chained up and could not jump to his remnant. He had illusion again. rune. Yuragi catching him and Bryle just not hanging his buttons fast enough. That was just slow. There's no way around it. He should get out of there for sure. But OG will be happy to clean up that mistake as that's another huge ember kill. 
And I can't help but thinking, why not just finish the BKB instead of that blink? Yeah. Sure, you were 16 and 0, but did you need the blink to continue to accelerate this game? Yeah, protect that lead that yeah. you have. His build is backfired. Oh, and OG trying to take advantage. Two man Gale into the Nova. Go to Song. sleep. Okay, TD out. And Tomato, I believe, should be fine, even though he's by himself. I need uh, TSM need to reset right now. They are bleeding kills and bleeding the team fights. And that Roshan is one core death away from going into Yuraki's hands. Mid tower dies. More map control for OG. But they can't do Roshan yet. I think it's time Tomato gets more active in the fight. He got his heart off that. He's flying out Nether Shawl. This Naga is going to be quite tanky. You have Orchid to give you some aggressive potential. He's been shoving in the lane super nicely. But if your team is struggling to find something without you, that's oftentimes a signal to just bring all five and make something happen around an objective. Yeah. What do you think about uh, his idea here of purchasing the shard? He has it queued up in his quick buy. It's an interesting idea to counter Venomancer, right? Veno and Pango. Like maybe Pango's rolling through your sleep. You heal up your support he's trying to kill. Mm. Yeah. yeah, definitely nice versus Veno. Sustain feels good here for both teams. There's a lot of long-range poke. You're dealing with Ember Chains and uh, Axe, Fade Bolt, Arrow. On the other side, you're dealing with Pango with Veno Wards and a Monkey Slap. So if you get some sustain to deal with these pokes, that means you can decide to fight more on your terms. Ryle, don't get caught again. Ooh, yeah, he jumps away at the first sign of danger, as he should. Some decent sustain utility coming out from OG. We're seeing Chu go for this Glimmer Greaves build again with max nature's attendance. So this Enchantress, he's going to heal you a lot. You have the Pipe and Crimson on the Veno, and BCM went back for Lotus. So he's going to be able to front line and dispel some of this chains or net initiations, or even just throw it on the Venomancer. Okay, and DM. Doesn't do too much. Just gets the Crimson Guard out of him, maybe. This gold lead's not gone anywhere in the last five or six minutes. TSM game maybe stalling out a bit. They need to get this team fight going. Second round, the arrow tries to follow it up. Doesn't actually land. Illusion in the way. Pops the images. Tomato gets a little bit low. Of course, he has his heart. But a bit concerning that uh, TSM just cannot seem to find the opening here. So much gunk in this middle lane. Yeah. Ember illusions, Naga illusions, stolen Naga illusions, Morphling illusions, Morphling Naga illusions. <laughs> Veno wards. Wards. Stolen Veno wards. <laughs> <laughs> Both these teams just playing against themselves right now. They really Punch are. in the mirror. Taiga maybe just found the opening. BZM's gonna try and use the Rolling Thunder, but again, Ari steals it. Perfect timing again and again. Arrow cuts across, does manage to land onto the Enchantress while the Rolling Thunders are just bouncing around. They're going to trade out kills potentially as Kasani is going to be chased down by Taiga. The heal goes out, but it's not good enough. Meanwhile, Brile in the midst of things. Pops BKB chased after uh, BZM. Wants this kill, wants it badly, and will be able to have it. His BKB is wearing out, though, and he's low on mana. Needs to be able to reset back to the arms of the Naga Siren, oh, a good who is net. more than strong enough with the net Did holding down Yuragi. Double damage in the river. It's going to be picked up by Yuragi and lost by Yuragi as he goes down. Four dead on the side of OG and TSM reclaim a firm hold on this game too. Stolen Rolling Thunder, MVP there for sure. It stalled yeah. up so much of that initiation for OG. Let's Kasane live forever as they have to extend so much. I mean, Yuragi used his whole waveform in five or six seconds hitting this beast only for Taiga to have to chase him on the backside. That just creates a clear alleyway for Tomato to come in and soak it all up with the illusions. And they're going to get a little bit more for their trouble. Nowhere to hide. <laughs> they did not want to let DM go. They could have done Roshan during that period of time, but they just kept chasing after the Venomancer. I mean, they can still go and do it. Looking at 40 seconds, no Veno. So this is not a contestable fight without him. Maybe you get a Pango steal, but... 
Not with the way this game has been going for BZM. 0 oh and 8. It's just not getting the impact you want in these fights because of the early game. Just got shut down too hard. I mean, there's no way to BZM, stop him. He's popping the, the shield crash as soon as possible, but it's just instant. Maybe looking for the steal. He's going to poke it here. Taiga trying to get the vision, but he has uh, underneath a hawk. Gets caught by the telekinesis the arrow. That arrow oh, hit. it does catch him. What? And the stolen rolling thunder is going to have a repeat performance here. Catching BZM, in fact, nailing him twice. The primal roar immediately afterwards. Okay. TSM. They Some can afford snipers. to wait and do Roshan a little bit later. Keep snipers in the river. Yeah. Back into the Roche. Round three. Will you let it do it this time in peace? Finally, it falls. It's a big Aegis. Now you finish Bloodthorn on Tomato on top of that Aegis. He can play very aggressive and he can use this offensive item at will to try and shut down OG's cores, force the damage out in the fight. Yeah, you still have some sustain, but it feels like it's getting to the point where it might be wearing a little thin. We're going to kick in this bottom lane as much as possible. And then start putting the pressure on the mid-tier two. Jumping after Tomato, not an easy target. Even just poking at him is pretty dangerous. So anytime they move forward, there's a chance of getting slight chained into an arrow or ensnare into an arrow. As seen from that little play right there. Poor staff gets him away from it though. Tomato's just trying to bait the fight out right now. Bloodthorn goes off onto Taiga. He's stolen rolling. Hitting oh, two. Man, that rolling thunder is into just the arrow. Been so strong. The arrow comes out. The Morphling's done for so long and Brile that will cube. help deliver the finishing blow. Cube of death. Just destroyed him on the side of that cliff. BZM's gonna try and return the favor, but you don't have the Morphling anymore. A Rubik's Cube that OG just cannot seem to solve. The song out healing the damage being put out. Another and they're arrow. gonna come back into a world of hurt. An immediate arrow stun. DM trying to get back to safety of the tier fours will be okay. Chu will not. That's gonna be four dead on the side of OG underneath a tier two tower so objectives are gonna start collapsing the poke eventually creates an opening the littlest of openings and enough for that cube to slide through man all right just destroyed him in these team fights he really did and he's gonna find another i mean he was destroying him before that rolling thunder too when he had the uh the tree dance and the primal spring hopping yeah. around did it with everything heroes constantly and look at the hero damage out from him Wow, yeah. Almost uh, the same as the Beastmaster here. And now he's throwing wards down. These are hella annoying too. Your Rax is just gone. He just still intact for Tomato here. Setting up camp. Is he even taking damage? No. I don't think DM is doing, I think DM is healing him right now. Oh, BCM needs help. He's got a Lotus Orb, so. I'll help protect him from that Bloodthorn, but Tomato, just keep on trucking. Illusion on illusion action. The real Naga just seems invincible here. He's got 50, he's healing 56 HP a second. And he's got 61% resist across the board. But Pipe Aura with Nether Shawl, <laughs> you're not touching the Siren. Double jump, but that is not working for you. Dead in an instant. OG, oh, <laughs> it's looking like you're going to be forced to just GG out here because Tomato is a force that cannot be stopped. A Riptide that is dragging you out to sea. He hasn't even gotten the reeling yet. So powerful. They haven't even gotten Drums of Slum. Another ensnare, another arrow, another kill. Oh, that's a very satisfying sound right there. That was there. satisfying. Too that's bad it didn't look satisfying as the damage 
He's not there. Can hardly even kill Illusion. These arrow setups are just too reliable at this point. Yep. That is game two. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna push it to number three here with some good old Naga Dota, Naga Marana, Netum, Arrow.